Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Following up on the last video, I just did the unboxing of the venerable little M50, the Canon mirrorless M50, the brand new M50. And I got the two lens kit, as you'll recall, the 55 to 200 and the uh, 15 to 45. Um, I also got in with the M50, the 11 to 22, Canon EF M1122 F4 f4 to 56 is stm so an image stabilized stm lens this is basically the wide angle m series lens the equivalent of say the 10 to 18 for efs in, a, in an m mount and i had raised that question before in a previous video we were discussing that um would i prefer to have a 10 to 18 and use the um, m adapter or more likely the 11 22 M lens with no need for an adapter would be the way to go. So let's unbox it here. It came in with the M50 and um, I got everything's in from B&H for review. So thanks to B&H. We've got a warranty card. We've got a little little lens manual or pamphlet. Um, we've got some packaging here, some internal plastic protective packaging. And then we have the lens. I'm already impressed with how small and lightweight it is. It seems pretty much, I wish I had the um, 10 to 18 here to do just like a side-by-side -side comparison, but I've had it in enough times and I've recently just shot with it on the SL2 again. Um, and it seems very comparable, size and weight. Um, and I can tell you right off the bat, the, um, the fit and finish on this is very nice. If anything, I think the fit and finish is actually it feels a little bit above, a grade above the 15 to 45 or that 55 to 200, which are not bad, but they are, you know, a bargain, a value lens, a kit lens. This um, 11 to 22, my initial thoughts and my initial impressions of it are that it feels a little bit higher quality. Not not a huge jump, but a little bit higher quality than the 1545 and the 55 to 200. There's the lens with the, uh, the cap off. Actually, let's... Um, Let's get the 55 to 200 off of the M50 and show you what it looks like on the M50. You know, as I usually try, this is this is old habits die hard. Um, I usually try and put the camera body down um, when I'm changing lenses, and I try to be careful about not allowing dust to enter the um, the system. So the point of facing the body down is so we don't have facing up like this, and you accidentally spit in it, or you know saliva comes out of your mouth while you're speaking, uh, dust from the air, all sorts of things. So if you keep the body down as much as possible when you're changing it, I just have always, that's just good, good form, um, good procedure. So 11 to 22, that's it there on the, on the camera, on the M50. It uh, seems like a, um, a really nice fit, very similar size wise to the uh, little 15 to 45 that we have. In fact, almost identical size-wise um, and not very not very wide or very long extended which you wouldn't expect because this is a wide angle it's not a telephoto um, and again fit and finish it fits very nicely with the m50 on the camera here and it gives you you know the field of view at 11 to 22 the 11 is giving us the advantage that we have with the 10 to 18 on a camera like the ADD or the SL2, especially if you want to vlog. And especially with the heavy crop factor on here for 4K, the 2.56, if you're wanting to vlog with this camera, the 11 is going to make it usable even with the 2.56. At least that's my, my guess. I'm thinking because of my experience with the 10 to 18 and how wide and nice that is for vlogging, that we could still make use of the 4K on here with the 11 to 22, which kind of negates some of the issues with the 4K on the M50 because I was always a proponent, if you're a vlogger, I would always recommend the 10 to 18 should be the lens you should have on an ADD or an SL2 or 70-70 /70 for vlogging. And likewise, on an M series, um, 11 to 22, I would say the exact same thing. It's just even more important because if you want to try and vlog in 4K, the 1122 is going to give you the best shot at doing that because it gives you that wide. Always the caveat when using a wide, try and frame yourself as much as you can in the center and just be careful of how you're framing yourself and how you look because a wide angle is distorting. But for vlogging, 
gives you the power to do so. Um, so yeah, initial impressions, very favorable, small, lightweight, seems like a good fit and finish, good build quality. Can't wait to get out and shoot with this. Can't wait to do some vlogging with it. I'm going to test it as a vlogging lens. I'm going to test it on the M50 in 4K, using 4K video as a vlogging lens. See how it works. Is it wide enough? We'll let you know. If you guys have any questions about the 11 to 22, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know. I'll see if I get them answered for you. You have any feedback on the 11 to 22? Do you own it? Have you shot with it? Is there something you want to make me aware of? Leave it in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Um, as you can see, we're starting to flush out the system to get the review done. I never like to review a camera with just one lens. Sometimes I'm stuck with that, but in this case, we're not. We've got this really nice 11-22. We've got the decent looking 15-45. We've got the decent looking 55-200. to So we've got some telephoto reach. We'll show you what the difference is between 15 on the standard kit zoom and what the 11 will do for you, especially in a situation like uh, vlogging. And we've got one more lens and one more item to show you. So stay tuned. Coming up next, the last bit of unboxing to the M50 setup, the kit that we're going to be shooting with while we do the review. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.